Welcome back. You know, Beyonce may be pregnant with twins, but she's not slacking off on her workout routine. Us Weekly reports that Queen Bee has been attending spinning class almost every day at studios all over Los Angeles. But many wonder, is that safe during pregnancy? And are there workouts that women who are pregnant really should try to avoid? Joining us this morning to talk more about it, our friend and fitness expert, KK Hart. Great to see you. How Good are morning. you? Good morning. Fabulous. Thank you. Okay, so let's talk about exercise in pregnancy because this is a hot topic and it's one yes. that a lot of women, they get sort of confused about what they really should be doing, right? Absolutely, and people are really worked up about this. Yeah. But if we go to the facts, the Centers for Disease Control, and that's the governing body for exercise, says that pregnant women need to work out at least 150 minutes a week. Okay. So if you look at just that recommendation, I'd say Beyonce is just following her daily recommended goals. Okay. Now, if you take it a step further, and this is a little or known fact, the CDC also says that women can exercise at or below the same exercise and fitness level that they had prior to becoming pregnant. Okay. So I'm willing to believe she was probably getting ready for touring, getting ready for all of her shows, and probably exercising pretty intensely at that time. Because your body is already accustomed to that. Is that yes. why? That's your body okay. is able to sustain everything that you've been doing prior to pregnancy because it's already been doing that. Right. That's the key. It's not jumping into a more difficult routine or scaling back and doing nothing at all. We have to remember, Amy, there are benefits to exercising during pregnancy, including sure. helping with the delivery process, reducing risks like cesarean sections. So there's really a lot of evidence that says exercise during your workouts or during your pregnancy, and more importantly, do it at the same level that you were beforehand. Okay, what are the dangers, though, of someone who does not work out at all and then they get pregnant and they're like oh I don't want to gain a bunch of pregnancy yeah. weight so now I'm gonna start working out what what are the thoughts there that's a major concern and okay. so as a trainer one of the things I use to evaluate them is their fitness level prior to exercising not a year ago not three years ago but right. genuinely within those first six months prior to pregnancy or known okay. pregnancy okay what about weightlifting that's the other thing I think a lot of pregnant women are kind of like uh, and then you'll see these stories about women yeah. who are really like bench pressing huge they're amounts of weight it. right and then they have this big baby Bump and people people freak out. They do. Yeah, it's countercultural, but I'll okay. stick to the guidelines, which is if she was doing that prior to her pregnancy, she's in good shape. Okay. She's and you're not going to gonna injure so. the baby. There's no harm to the baby by by doing. Well, that. I think it's important to go back to looking at what the doctor says as well. I'm sure, especially someone like Beyonce, she's under very strict guidelines and recommendations from her doctors as well. Right. So it's important to have that dialogue with your doctor. Okay. KK, how can our viewers find you? You can find out more about me at kkheart.com. Thanks, darling. Absolutely. Great to see you. Let the queen reign. Let the queen rain. <laughs> Let her do her thing. Do your thing. All right, 945 JV King, do your thing. I'm about to do my thing. It's